Look, the VA did a patch job on your injury. The mortar fragments are close to your spine. Okay, that's why I need to be monitored. Actually, you need surgery to remove the fragments. I'm not going under the knife. You asked for my medical opinion, I'm giving it to you. Yo, I've been living with this for two years. I can handle a few more. Well, looking at your records, it says you suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. You still receiving treatments for that? It's none of your damn business. Hi. Robin, thanks for coming by. Of course. Oh, there's been so much family drama lately. It's really good to see a friend. Oh, everything okay? It's too convoluted to tell you the whole story, but yes, short story is everything is good now. Oh, glad to hear it. So, have you been on any exotic trips lately? Oh, I wish. Well, I've just been staying here. You know, Jocelyn's a priority, which is why I wanted to see you. Oh, well, if you're going to ask me for any advice, I just have to warn you, Patrick and I are figuring it out as we go. Yeah, me too. But one thing's for sure, I know that I have to keep Jocelyn safe. Is there a problem? Uh, well, kind of. It's uh, Carly's blind spot when it comes to Sonny and Jason. I'm, I'm trying to make her realize that Jocelyn's in danger, and of course, she disagrees with me. No surprise there. I'm going for sole custody, and I was hoping that you could testify on my behalf. You want sole custody of Jocelyn? I, I want Jocelyn to live with me full time. So when would Carly get to see her? Whenever she wants. I told her she can take a room here at the hotel right next door to Jocelyn's and she can come whenever she wants as long as she doesn't expose Jocelyn to Sonny and Jason's way of life. Mm. That must have gone over well. Well, yeah, I'm uh, trying to be reasonable. Okay, well, reasonable and Carly don't actually fit together in the same sentence. Yeah. Carly knows how much the kids have suffered because of Sonny. And if she were really interested in Jocelyn's welfare, she would agree on my terms, right? Right, but Jocelyn would never get to live with her mom. I mean, that's a lot to ask, don't you think? Well, that's kind of what Carly said. <laughs> Whose side are you on, anyway? You know that I huh? love you. I know that you're a devoted father, and I, mean, I get that you're worried about Jocelyn's safety. Thank you. And you know how I feel about Carly. Yes, exactly, which makes you perfect for this job. Okay. But no matter how I feel about her, she is a good mother. And if I were to testify, I, I, I'd have to be honest about that. Look, I'm not here about PTS. I'm here because the doctor told me to have my injury checked every six months. All right, well, the VA database shows that your mortar fragments are moving closer to your spine. So let me ask you, what kind of pain meds did the doctor have you on? I don't take anything. That's your choice? I still recommend that you remove the fragments. Now, the doc in Kandahar said it was better to leave them alone. Yeah, he might have been right at the time, but now they're causing a neurological risk. How big a risk? Minimal. Right now. But that could change. Yeah, well, until then, you don't need to be pushing surgery. I suggest you uh, go into counseling about that post-traumatic stress syndrome. Be good for you. Call 5432. Hey. You okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine. You sure? Sounded like you and Patrick were having a disagreement. Well, I just got some damage from a shrapnel wound, but it doesn't affect my ability to protect you and Jocelyn. Holly is a devoted mother. That's why it's so frustrating that Sonny has such a strong hold on her. I don't think that'll ever change. You know, Sonny is the father of two of her children. Yeah, and they've suffered enough because of it. I mean, their life is in constant danger. Did you honestly think that when you married Carly, she was going to cut ties with Sonny forever? <laughs> no, but I thought that I would be the most important man in her life. And that once we had our own kid, that she would maybe, you know, distance herself from Sonny and Jason. Okay. It was probably a little unrealistic to expect that. Look, you've been around the violence in Sonny and Jason's life. All I'm asking is that you testify about that in court. You know I'm close to both of them. Yeah, but you don't make a habit of, of letting Emma around them, right? I mean, I, I go to Sonny's to visit him. I've been to Jason's house several times. And... Yes, but you aren't dependent on them the way Carly is, you know? 
Whenever there's a crisis, she goes running to Sonny and Jason to solve it. I totally understand how that could have bothered you when you were married, but I honestly don't consider Sonny or Jason a threat. And what about the psychological damage to Sonny's kids? You think that Michael would have gone to prison if he, if he hadn't been influenced by Sonny and Jason? Look, I would be happy to tell the court what an excellent father I think you are. But I just can't say that Carly is a bad mother. I'm sorry. Um, I have to admit that I did hear the end of your conversation with Patrick. I'm talking to you about your post-traumatic stress. Yeah, with all due respect, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. It just reminds me of the first time we met on Baker Street when you helped Molly. Yeah, I'm glad I was there. Thank God you were there. <laughs> and she was so freaked out about the bus crash. and You could tell. And you could tell because of what you've been through and not many people would have recognized the symptoms. Yeah, she's a smart girl. <laughs> I got therapy, read up on PTSD. <laughs> Ended up knowing more on the subject than a therapist. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that is very Molly. <laughs> Easier to talk about someone else's issues than my own. I hear you. You know what I think? I think I want to go out today. It's gorgeous outside, and I think Jocelyn would love it. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay. I'll load up again in the car. Awesome. Thank you. Did you help him? I know. You and Luke, Uncle Luke, have been as thick as thieves, so fess up. I don't know where Luke is, okay? I participated in the intervention, and I meant what I said. Okay, let's try a different tack. Where might he be? You're his wife. Your guess is as good as mine. I was under the impression that when Luke takes off, he, he does it alone. Carly, Luke is in trouble. He's on a downward spiral, and he needs help before he self-destructs. Isn't that up for Luke to decide? You're not hearing me. No, you're not hearing Luke, okay? I'm not surprised he's gone, and I doubt he'll be back. I need to find him. For what? To tell him for the millionth time he has a drinking problem? No, Carly, to help him. Okay, I, I believe you want to help him, and I believe that Luke has a problem. But you married Luke knowing exactly who he is. It's not really fair to change the rules after the fact. Hey. Hey. Oh, listen, I want you to start keeping a log whenever you see Sonny, Jason, and Carly here together at the hotel. Just, uh, you know, make a note of it. Well, let me guess. This, this has something to do with Jocelyn? Yeah, I, I need documentation that they're in regular contact. So what, so what, so you can take it to the court and go for full custody? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Because Sonny and Jason are dangerous. Okay, okay. I, I don't want to quibble over semantics here, Jax. Their business is dangerous. They themselves are not. That's a very important distinction. Well, that's debatable, isn't it? Carly refuses to keep our daughter safe, so I have to take action. Olivia, that's just the way it is. I'm sorry, Jax. I don't like where this is going. What? I'm uh, just asking you to keep a record. What you're asking me to do is facilitate Carly losing her kid, and I can't feel good about How that. How can you criticize me for wanting to keep my daughter safe when you, you kept your son a secret from Sonny most of his life? A few minutes.